I'm a bad and I don't mind What's up, Rim Team? It's Stretch Henderson. You're tuning into the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. We're going to talk about this thing called emotions. You know, where they originate from. Why do we go through emotions? Emotions are is something that everybody deals with. I mean, even with me, I'm a positive, optimistic 99.9% .9 of the time. But I'm also a human being at the same time and there are times where I get angry there are times where I get frustrated there are times where I feel sad and so this applies to every human being no matter who that person is I don't care what they say how positive they is how big of a smile it is on their face every single day you know they must do a good job of acting and that's what it's all about though maybe they are the people that actually makes themselves better so that they can make other people's lives better and the world a better place. But, you know, being emotionally stable is a growing process. You don't just become emotionally stable overnight. Uh, and we do know that this feeling, this emotion, is more powerful in women than it is men. Well, that's what the books say. That's what science says. But in all actuality, men deal with emotions that's different from women that are just as powerful as women emotions. You understand what I'm saying? And hopefully I can give you a little bit of that just stay tuned and hear what I have to say again thank you so much for tuning in if you're a real team member subscriber thank you so much for subscribing make sure you introduce yourself speak or let your voice be heard let us know who you are but anyway you know man emotions are, are really serious and some people let them get to the point where it just destroy their life you know I can't um, I can't number how many times I actually just sit and I just think about how many people are locked up in prison you know, over things that they did, you know, because they let their emotions take them over, you know, and I just sat and wonder, I was doing that today, I was like wondering, like, God, like, people locked up, people on death row, you know, people just really, you know, gave their life over to an emotional energy and just ended up in jail, prison, like, God, like, this is powerful, I should talk about this, and so, you know, you got to come to some point in your journey where it's like you know what i, I want to control these emotions you know because it's cool to express yourself like don't get me wrong it's cool to express yourself but when your emotions start to make you go against other people start to make you feel negative towards other people you know but let me clean it up a little bit because you know behind closed doors you might have some resentment you know let's just be real let's just be realistic you know you might have some resentment towards other people. You might feel some type of way towards other people behind closed doors. You might talk to your friend about it. You know, I don't like her. I don't I don't like the way he does things. He thinks he know everything. He think he all that. God, he is so sensitive. He is so emotional. Oh my God, she thinks she's all that. I do not like her. And you know, so sometimes you do talk about this stuff behind closed doors. You know, but when it gets to a point where you're out here, you know, flinging it around, you're actually showing people that you are angry like i'll beat you up like i know some people like who just get a drill lot of beating people up like i grew up with people like that in school you know i know people who get a kick out of being tough like i'm mad at the world are you looking at me you look at me wrong at you do something then i'll show you how angry i am i'm the biggest in here i'm a thug i'm a gangster do something to me then like, you know what I mean? I know people that really act like that. But why do they act like this? Because they let their emotions, you know, carry them along. They let their emotions get the best of them. They don't know how to control their emotions. Emotions, if I was God and I was creating human beings, I would say to myself, I'm going to instill something into the human beings called feeling. We're going to call it emotion. Okay? And what this is going to do is... When they go in certain settings and environments and hang around certain people, they will be able to feel something. And when they feel something, I want it to go inside of them. And I want them to be able to, you know, calculate how emotional they want to become based on what they want to do. They have a choice, you know. So I'm going to give them a choice. I am God. Let's call this thing emotion. So they have a choice to control it or they have a choice to let it carry them along. You know, and so the whole objective that God is trying to say is 
you have a choice to what degree you want to let your emotion carry you along before you should cut it off. You understand what I'm saying? There, there comes a point in time where you get so wrapped up in the fury, in the rage, in the frustration that you have to say, okay, no more. I'm going to let it go because it's starting to get the best of my body. It's starting to make me feel bad. It's starting to make me feel depressed. It's starting to give me a headache. I can feel my heart blood pressure going up. You know, I can feel things in my body starting to make me feel bad as a human being. So you know what? I'm not going to think about it anymore. And so you can't be the person who dwells on it. Because when you continue to dwell on, dwell on negative emotions, it don't do nothing but make you make the wrong choices. One thing I like to do, because um, I've mastered my emotions to a much higher degree than most people, I would say, um, from what I can perceive. One thing that I do is when emotions come over me that are negative, right? I ask myself, why do I feel this way? I, I literally stop in the moment and be like, why am I mad at this person? That's what you got to do from time to time. Like when you start to feel a certain way about, you know, certain people or something that happened, like, or if somebody did something that you thought was like subliminally incorrect or, you know, like they were trying to get at you on a sneak tip or whatever the case may be. Oh my God, they were trying to be too sarcastic. You got to say to yourself, is it really worth it? Then you got to think to yourself about the person that actually did you harm. Are they really worth it? Are they worth your time and energy? Are you a big enough person to look down on them to say, nah, they they ain't better than me. Nah, they ain't better than me. I don't, I'm not going to waste my time like trying to feed into their negative thoughts about me. I know they just don't like me because I'm, I'm fly. I know they just don't like me because I'm beautiful. They just don't like me because I have long hair. They just don't like me because my makeup look good and theirs look like boo-boo. You know, so... Now, I'm not going to really waste my time to even really get emotionally incorrect because she doesn't like me because I put my makeup on better than hers. Oh, my God. Like, she still looks like 1992 girls, the way they used to wear their makeup. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You get the point right. So, you know, you, you want to come to a realization in your, in your emotional thought life to where you can actually determine whether or not which category you should put certain people in you know certain you know things in that you experience in your life that make you feel like emotionally outraged you have to get to a point where you'd be like is it worth it is it worth it is it really worth the friendship is it worth me talking down on this person who's already feeling down about themselves is it worth you know my friendship with this guy you know for me to really say something to him that will make him feel bad like is it really worth it so Emotions can be a positive thing for us, but at the same time, it could be a negative thing for us. Now, let's talk more about the positive side and then we'll be done. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Press your like if you like this video. But on the positive side, the flip side, on the other hand, emotions can be very, very powerful for us because we understand that life is a feeling process. Everything in life that you experience is energetic. It's always vibrating. Every thought that you think about in your thought life comes with an emotion. When you think about the images in your head of something that happened yesterday, you feel the emotion that comes with it. Because life is a feeling process. Feelings are vibrations and energy. You know, so you always want to make sure you resonate yourself with stuff that makes you feel good. That's why you're here on the Infamous Living Room Network, right? Because it's stuff that makes you feel good. It's nourishment for your soul. This is what helps you grow because you're trying to make yourself better like I'm trying to make myself better and we try to make the world a better place. And so, you know, emotions can actually do great things for you, can do wonders for you, especially if you're able to use good emotions when you talk about other people, like give compliments to other people, praise other people and tell them how great they are. You know, what a wonderful job you do. Oh man, you do this like nobody else does it. This is all emotions in you that are talking to another person. You can use emotions in a positive way to help you succeed. Wow, you're just one of the greatest persons I've ever hung around. Like seriously, the, the way you do it is different from everybody that I've actually hung around. And, and being sincere is an emotion, you know? So not only do you have to be emotionally negative because that's automatically going to happen all the time. But you have to make sure that you're a positive 
emotional person as well. You know, and, and everything that bubbles up in you that feels good comes from above. Every positive emotion that you feel about yourself, like, you know, you might feel like, oh, man, I want to have sex tonight. That's a positive emotion. You know, that's a positive emotion. That's your body telling you, you know, it needs to be stimulated because that's human nature. You know, you need to find someone and marry them first. <laughs> so, you know, you can't forget the fact that you can also use emotions for your well-being as well as, you know, letting them get the best of you. And, I, and guys, realize that the moment it's the only moment that we have in life. You know, when you experience these negative emotions, always remember that this is the moment right here. It's only in your mind that the negative thought pattern exists. It came into your mind from the universe, like the outside, the energetic world on the outside. But it, uh, it bubbles in your mind and dwells in your, in your mind and it, and, it, and it makes you think that, oh my God, something negative has happened to me or someone has treated me negatively oh something is not right this is bad oh my god this is making me feel bad okay we know the truth we know the facts so when you start to think about it remind yourself i am living in the moment say that to yourself i am living in the moment like only time i have is right now and if i cut my mind off i would not even be able to think these thoughts you know, if I took my brain out my skull, I would not even be able to see my life. So it's all in your head. All these thoughts that go on, this chitter chatter about, you know, emotional this, emotional that that goes in your head. It's all in your in your mind. Half of the time, the things that you're thinking are not even really happening. The things that you're thinking about, what other people are thinking about of you, is not even really true most of the time. It's just that you have a powerful mind and the, imaginary, the, the imagination thinks like a billion times faster than any human can ever think. And it's always giving you thought, after 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 thought. So you process so much thoughts in a moment's time span that it makes you feel like it's actually true. Like these negative thoughts that you're feeling are actually real. Like it's really real because your imagination does such a great job of painting you a picture of a of a motion picture. Like you're watching a movie in your head, but it's not really true. Just like a movie, when you go watch it, you see the actors, you see Denzel up there, you see Roman Esquire up there, you see Raymond Esquire up there, you, and you make it, it makes you feel like it's really real. When you went and watched The Matrix, now you play a role in The Matrix, you're like, man, that movie is really real. It makes me feel like this is what life is, The Matrix. And so they did a good job of convincing the viewers that's why the box office sales is up to 15 million dollars you know what i'm saying like so you know life and reality is all about thoughts and creation just always know that it's not really true most of the time it's just you thinking about it and you're only living in this moment right now you don't know what the future's gonna hold the past is already gone. You can't do nothing about it. So since you don't know what the future is going to hold, let's spend this time to just meditate these next few minutes as we exit this video to know that the only moment that we have right now is right now. If there were any thoughts in your mind, if there were any negative emotions in your spirit before you watch this video, I just want to help you clear these spirits up. All right, and I want you to just, you know, come back to your original state of human existence, okay? So we're going to take the next few minutes, and we're going to meditate, y'all. We're going to meditate, okay? You ready? One, two, three. Let's meditate. All you have is now. Your mind is clear. Just be happy, just to be happy. Relax, relax. Deep breaths, exhale. 
This is all you have right now. It's just existing. Be happy just to be happy. Everything is always happening for you. That's the way the universe works. The universe makes things happen for you in a negative way and in a positive way. Take a deep breath. Exhale. But the world makes you think that the negative way is not allowed. Allow the negative thoughts. Allow the negative thought patterns to create a greater life for you because it's all beneficial to you. Thank you for meditating, guys. Thank you so much for meditating. It's all benefiting you. Whether the negative or positive experience that you're having in your life, it's all to benefit you. You don't get a toy to work without a negative battery and a positive battery, right? You gotta flip those batteries the opposite way, right? In order to create the power, right? Yeah. We can't just exist here in life without the sun. We gotta have the moon too, right? Yeah, of course. It's the duality, the polarity that creates the power. To <laughs> me, we just can't be here by ourselves, right? You know, we don't want to go that way, do we? So, we have to have a woman. That's right, you have to have a woman. Or it should be vice versa, a woman has to have the man. It creates the baby, the power. You can't just have hot water. You know, what you gonna do in the summertime? You gotta have some cold water. It creates the power, okay? So remember this, as negative emotions come in your mind, and positive emotions come in your mind. It's all to benefit you. Do not let the emotions carry you on. Know when to cut it off. Know when to stop it. Because you have full power and control over your thought life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Trenton Sanderson of the infamous Living Room Network. Speak up. Let your voice be heard. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next 24 hours. Peace out.